Before we continue, let's make a backup of this project. It's going to be in the Exercises folder of this disk. Let's go to File or Cubase and scroll down to Backup Project. Let's opt to create a new folder. To keep it all extra organized, I'm going to call it Exercises. OK. I'm prompted for the file name. I'm going to accept the suggested name. Yes, I'll keep the current project active, and I won't minimize the audio files, freeze edits, or remove unused files. We can leave Do Not Backup Video check, since we don't have any video in this project. I don't want to remove any unused files. Now is not quite the time yet for cleaning. This is something we can do when we wrap up a project. I won't freeze any edits or minimize audio files, since I want you to be able to use what I've done. And Cubase backs up our audio files. Let's go take a look at our Windows Explorer. Here's the folder where I created the exercise folder. And here is exercises. Here we have the backup file for 48. The images used to create the events that we see displayed here. And in the audio folder, we see all of the audio files that are used in this project, Cello 04 and Groove. Let's close this window. And this concludes our lesson on creating a backup of your project.